right, so you're here. Uh, again, same thing as before. Uh, the only difference is uh, we're going to load up, uh, hopefully. Uh, yeah, we will load up everything. Uh, focus on food and ammunition for the weapons we already have. Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe some extra, what, some extra M4s, which should be already in the trucks. All right. Uh, okay, let's just focus on food and extra ammunition for our own weapons. Also, focus on extra bandages, like uh, packing bandages and elastic bandages and quick clot. Mm. Um, yeah. Alright, so which one do you want to focus on first? Focus on the mountain first and establish that as the outpost? Or yeah. the little military yeah. hill? The mountain. Call it hill 90. Hill 91. So. Blue. Black. Outpost 91. Alright. Outpost 91 is set. Uh, the path we'll be taking will be... Can you go down the same path or... Uh... Yeah, the same path. Okay, so... Approach him from the south and push up, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me draw that real quick. Just in case we get lost or anything. You have your little GPS device on you, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, you never learned how to pull it up. I'll show you in time. I will right, we'll ride up this natural dip and go up the hill from that natural dip. Will it be there? Yep. Okay. Hopefully that's out of way. Uh, squared away. Uh, and then we'll clear the areas around it. Maybe establish some artillery. All right. There we go. We should probably put the binoculars away at this point. Yeah, I already did. Okay.
So I'm gonna switch uh, the little uh, compact bag I have on me and switch it for a more and switch it out for uh, the kit bag. Unless you think we'll be fine with a carry-all. To the I'm carry sure for the Elastic, like maybe ten of those. Actually, twenty. Bandage packing, twenty. Quick clot, uh, fifteen. Okay, give it a second for your stamina to pick up. I have a, I think, a carry-all. That's why it looks so bulky. And that's just the, the stuff I'll be putting in, uh, what you call it, in the Jeep. Once I come back and get my regular stuff, then I'll switch out for like a regular kit bag or something. Less weight, sometimes the better. Sometimes. Right. Actually, let me see if I can take it off and carry it. Take off my bag. That carry it. Let's see. Using the Ace interaction. No. Equipment. Oh uh, yeah. No, I can only wear it, but I can't carry. Like carry it as a, as a regular. Open. Alright, give me a second. Okay, so... Um, so I have an extra water bottle, some extra MREs, one bag of extra blood, a lot of extra bandages, and a whole lot of ammo, like 20 mags. Alright, ready? Yeah. I feel heavy. Or maybe it's just that I'm used to the controls after playing Phasmophobia all night yesterday. Alright, 
uh, which one do you think? I can't run. Uh, for real? Like you're, damn. I have to check your settings then because you should be able to run at least a bit. Yeah, I'm pressing the shift to, to run, but it's the, the stamina bar just appears as like a red or orange. So I'm carrying too much stuff. That is weird. You shouldn't have the stamina that's like in red or orange. It should be just white. Oh. That means it's acting weird on you. Let me see. Dude, where are you? Oh, uh, accident where the helicopter landed by accident. Wow. Find me, I'm like on the other side. Yeah, I don't know. Drop this off at one of the trucks, uh, then I'll come and pick up your bag because I don't know why it's acting weird oh, with your. Yeah, I, I switched to a pistol and now I'm running. That's weird. Maybe it's because it's a mod conflict? I don't know. Are you sure you don't have like a walking pace enabled by hitting double C or control C, none of that? With your rifle? No. No. Hold up, why are you using the radio? Right here. Alright, so which one do you think should be in the front? The the one that's not carrying anything? Like like uh this one that isn't, isn't exposing anything? Yeah. This one, the one I'm pointing at. Yeah, this one. Oh that off. Oh. Yeah, I could drive this one all by myself, and if we're getting shot, I could just switch to the gunner seat and never have to expose myself because it could be controlled from the inside. Alright. However, it just has one gun. That's the, that's the drawback. Well, that's still fine. Yeah, and then you can drive uh, the, the other one behind. Which, which one? The one we, we drove the first time, remember? Uh. So what you want to do is you want to put each thing individually. Don't want to put your whole bag in there. I know. Things will. Oh, okay, yeah. Things will might disappear.
Nothing's being transferred into the inventory. Nothing's being transferred? No. Alright, uh... Set in the car and turn it on in the driver's seat and actually drop off your bag on the floor right here. I'll put it in. Everything's there, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna get our bags and actually get like the regular kit bags. I think the primary to thing to carry always is um, bandages and uh, what you call it. Ammunition and food. Food and water. Uh, if your vest and uniform already has that, then focus on what you don't have yet. Got plenty of ammunition. Maybe I'll just focus on food for mine. Yeah, I just need food, don't mind.
also add cable ties and uh, I forgot what else I added. Cable ties? Yeah. For me. Oh no, we already have cable ties. I'm just adding extra. Extra okay. cable ties. So that way there's enough between the two of us. And a mine detector. Uh, I'm gonna carry my mine detector and my toolkit with me in case uh, the vehicle breaks down. Okay. That way we have extra toolkits. Should I carry extra MRE and extra water bottles and just put it in the vehicle? Yeah. Try MRE. Maybe extra flashbangs too. M84s. From Ace. Five. Fragmentations. Five. Maybe four. MRE. Meatballs and pasta. Take vegetables. And an extra water bottle. Maybe an extra canteen. Uh, should be set. I just have a bunch of extra stuff that I probably won't want to load off. That's it. Alright. So it, what you have to do is basically, once you're in the driver, once you inside the truck, uh, mm -hmm. simply uh, click and drag from your big bag to the inventory of the truck. Once you're inside, sitting in there. Just go into my book bag and just add in, adding everything one by one. Since we're not using infrared, I'm gonna dump everything into the truck as well.
All right, you ready? Ready. Hold up, did you hear that? An explosion? No. Okay, maybe it's just on my side. Just slowly and safe. as you enter through the gate because it's tight.
fire. so I can see where it's coming from. Oh, I see it. Is it clear? It's hostiles right next to us. Firing. Infrared, I'm not picking up anything except dead bodies. Put up. Oh, yeah, that's just you moving. Okay. Okay, he's dead. Yeah. What happened? Yeah, we got it. Um, ran into the bushes right next to us. He's dead. Okay, All right. yeah, I was firing into there, but it was so close, it was, I was shooting blind pins because it was so close.
That's our uh, aircraft dropping bombs over in some distance. I'll show you. Let me see if I can find the coordinates. Directly west, a little bit around 280. You come up here, I can show you. If you come up the stairs where I went. Alright, so apparently just dropped bombs in, I think, uh, let's see. A little bit further up, like, in, right under that house. Just, mm -hmm. the, actually, it was really close to that, that white house. Right there. <laughs> yeah, just dropped a bomb. I think if you zoom in on your scope, you'll see the, the bomb crater. Right, right at the, right at the foot of that uh, house right there. Oh, I see, yeah. I see hostiles walking by the um, building. You wanna shoot from up there while I provide suppressive fire? I can try. I see them as well. Oh, they hit behind the building. Actually, just drop some. Uh, actually, let's just drop some stuff up up in here, and then let's go around the hill, because we don't want them. We don't want to drive them directly to our outpost here, because then they'll just surround us. It's just only the two of us. Mm -hmm. So, how about we hide the stuff in here inside this little enclave, or or should we hide it in that one on top of that building? What do you think? Okay. I'll open the door. Uh, uh, just keep an eye out while I transfer all the equipment. Roger. Alright, so I'm gonna bring some of your stuff. You dropped the bag in here, right? I think so. Or did you, the bag disappeared? What? Where's the bag? The bag we literally just put in here. Did it just disappear? No! Oh. Yeah. What? Was it shot out of the. That makes no sense. Dumb. Do we just lose it? Unless you're wearing no, you're not even wearing it. You're wearing something else completely different. Wow. Oh. oh, so it's completely random. I just Oh, that's weird.
putting everything in there in the book bag. Got bandage, basics, packing, morphine injections, tourniquets. Yeah, I thought it would have like more bandages and stuff, like other types of bandages. Plant tourniquets. Nothing. All right. So sad. There's only one. What you call it? One bag, and the other one completely disappeared. Okay, I'm going to work on the other one. Alright. Well, I kept mine. Uh, I don't know what happened to the bag that... Oh, I brought it back like an idiot. I didn't put it in yours, so hold up. I know how to work it. I forgot to put your bag back in your truck. Oh, okay. I'm doing like about two more rounds.
Yeah, I don't know if this could be so tedious. Leave an extra rifle in there just in case. Yeah. I just hope none of that disappears by the time we come back. Alright, that's it, and we'll be coming back to shoot some things. Right, we should have everything. Um, you wanna? Should I just leave this truck in here? This this one. Uh, I don't know if you hear what I'm saying. Yeah, I heard you say. Oh, uh, we should keep this truck here. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe just leaving uh, this one. The one I'm in here and uh, right around the one you're in. Just, All right. Just, just as backup.
dig a quick trench right here just in case something happens. Alright. Or do you do that in the next mission? I can do it right now. Alright, do you mind adding an extra trench? Yeah, if you look at your map, if you look at your map so that way it's easier, and zoom into where we're at, uh, mm -hmm. the truck is right here. Let me put it here. Truck mechanized here in this corner. Uh, we, maybe what we can do is definitely um, add, I'll add a tall trench here. And you can add maybe a tall trench, a really tall one here. But well, actually, not not that, not that, because we still want the truck to get out. So maybe like we'll see. But I don't, I don't think it's that close actually. I think I can maneuver out of that, Something like that, where we leave enough space for the truck to actually get out. All right. Yeah. All right. Equipment, trench and tool. Yeah, short trench. Okay, what you want to do is dig a, a giant trench. Giant one. Maybe, yeah, giant one. Alright, I already started it. Maybe you want to be further out, or further to the right. You can use a third person to see how much room there is. Now, especially now that I'm also digging the trench. Because remember, we want the vehicle to get out also. Oh, we got like two minutes left, so maybe... Maybe we will finish these trenches and then that's it. We'll save it. Where is it? Where have I found to dig a trench? You're standing right, right, right on it. Uh, am I missing anything? Because I don't see the option to dig a trench. You, did you have it in your book back to a uh, uh, trenching tool? You gotta go in your truck or look for it in the in the in the what you call it. In either in your truck or in the book bags I dropped off. That's why you always need the entrenching tool. Yeah, giant one, giant one.
How's it going on your end? Oh, you probably can't hear me. I'm starting to dig it. Huh. Quarter done. Alright, I'm digging a long trench over here, just so we're not ambushed from the, from the back side, just in case. Alright. Don't forget to place camouflage when you're done. Doesn't this feel like a survival game, like uh, almost like Day Z or whatever it is? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I knew the survival uh, kits would uh, help it make it more, what you call it, that type of mode, like more survival. Because it's not always just combat. Combat sometimes you need uh, like to look after yourself too. So this adds a little bit of that dynamic. It's called immersion. Wow. Also, if you're done early, think about how we can fortify where we just placed our book bags. So what you do is you stand behind the trench that you just placed You're gonna hit windows the red circle and then it's gonna pop up like Options for your trench, but you gotta got aim it. it well. Okay. Yeah, I got it Did I break my shovel? I think you did. This is not letting me trench, uh, dig a trench again, or maybe I'm staying too close to something. No, I meant break, did I break my shovel? Because it's no longer digging trenches anymore. Maybe need some cool downtime, I guess. I don't know, I'm not sure. Also, I think if you're too close to other trenches, it'll like, it'll stop you from digging new trenches. Too close to your old trench. Hi. I don't know. Yeah, it's not letting me dig trenches near my old trench.
Out in the trench over here, uh, specifically in the direction where we know there might be fire incoming. I think it'll save, uh, especially if it's our characters, it'll save where we last left off. I think so. I hope so. I'll save it before we leave. Alright. Do you mind adding camouflage to this trench once I finish? Alright. These trenches look way better than the vanilla ace trenches. Because at least these aren't bright sand. And on top of that, oh, we can place camouflage on it. Like, that was impossible before. The thing with the old trenches from before was that, uh, oh no, no, no. I think the one with the, the jungle trenches are like even better. Digging another trench right here. Mm -hmm. Um, when I was placing the trenches, the preview gave me that I could also give it a, like a rocky camouflage. That was cool. Now, this really does blend in with the dirt. See, you don't think of adding anything else anywhere else, right? No. Okay. You see it being developed, right? Yeah. Oh, you already can add camouflage? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Did the camouflage show up yet or not yet? Yeah, it did. Alrighty, damn. So, like, the bush is floating there along with the trench? Yeah. Oh. That's express. Cute. This is like... I don't know, like, building stuff. Isn't that Minecraft? Where you just build stuff all day? Sort of, yeah. Wow, we're playing Minecraft armor version. Just so you can see.
Hold up. I'm trying to see how I can make it blend. What? That's weird. It won't let me. Okay. Pass certain points. Pass certain points, it won't let me add extra, anything extra. I guess it'll only take trenches where the ground is softer, maybe? It's weird, it won't let me take trenches, not in this area. Only, only where it's like really earthy and sandy, only there. Yeah, we didn't get to shoot that much, but now we're set, and we have two outposts. So... Uh, we can climb in the vehicle. We, we, we should, like, be out here. Wait. And... Wait, out, out in front? Out in front? Right here? Then, let me just save it. Alright. Save. Saving game. Hello? Hello? You hear me? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it, I heard TFAR like skip out for a bit. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're saved. That's awesome. So when I press there, it goes back to. Why oh, does it say load? Oh. Um. We're saved. I think. On our next mission, if you look at the map. Yep. So we have the vehicle there, we have the, um, let's see, services, 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 or maintenance service, services inside this little building that we're at, or mm -hmm. where we put the trench in front of. Alright, so that, those are the two things there, I'll post 91. Uh, so tomorrow, what do you want to do for tomorrow? Attack where? Uh -huh. Um, uh, down here and head into Laka. Okay, down there and head into Laka. Okay. Yeah. We're not concerned about where they just the aircraft just bombed. Wait, it bombed in uh into houses, right? Yeah, it bombed. I can show you. It was, uh, I think. Uh, depending on where the the truck is, it's facing out into the houses. Uh, I think it was like right around here, where the timestamp okay. is. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I think it's right around there. So you wanna like attack there first, clear that out, cause you remember you said you said you saw. Oh, yeah, we saw hostiles there. Yeah. Okay. So do you do that or clear the factory first? I'm uh, wondering that the factory was like probably uh what you call it? That was probably um uh the guys we shot at earlier. Or what we can do is, uh, oh yeah, you notice this, there's more things for, further north, right? Yeah. So what we can do is, uh, we can sneak, like you said, uh, sneak around and maybe clear the factory first. Once that area is cleared, maybe me doing CQB and you, uh, what you call it, you doing uh, supporting fire in the, from the truck. Uh, once that is clear, I'm pretty sure the guys there are already dead. Uh, because the guys in the factory were probably roaming outside anyways, which are the ones we've already got. But I'll, we'll check. Once we uh, clear the factory door-to-door, -door, then we can go into Laka. That's, that's what you want to do? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully we don't have to use any extensive fire. If we meet 
hostile forces in the factory and we open up with a loud machine gun, then we'll have to proceed north to the to the airplane bombing. Alright. And uh, clear that out. Uh, that will clear everything surrounding us, and then we can head into Laka. Alright, so that's, that's that. Alright, so let's put it in. Objective 1. We mark it as objective. Factory is objective 1. OBJ. We'll call it, should we name call it something? Factory. Mm. Just, just whatever it's called. Factory. Objective factory. Alright. Should I mark it like a different color, like deep red or something? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Red. Bright red. There we go. Um. So objective factory should be number one, right? Okay. Uh, let's see. Objective boom can be a sod objective, so it could be like a like a. Can you? You see it, right? Yeah, I see it. Okay. Because there's no number. It's like it's optional. Yes, it, yeah, it's, it's there. <laughs> and then objective laka. O P J. Laka, definitely too. Okay, so that should clear up most of the northern area. Remember that there's uh, still some areas in Katalaki? Yeah. Uh, Mark us objective Katalaki. What do you think? Objective, like further yeah. in the future, or that should be next after uh, what we clear there? Uh, we should just leave it as it is, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll put in a question mark though, because it looks like it's. Uh, mm unknown down there. Unknown. Keep doing typos. Unknown. Boom. Uh, and that'll clear most of the uh, west area. We still might need to clear out the southern area, we'll see. Yeah. Um, hmm. And then we'll head north to up the road where we have that question mark and then up to Athera. Which looks like there's uh, another factory. Looks like these factories are hot spots. All the factories? Yeah, if you look at where we're at, there's a factory right below us. And it's right next to Objective Laka. Then if you look at Athera, where there's like supposed to be danger, there's a factory there too. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll work our way north towards the final objective. Right. That was heavy in logistics, right? Yeah. Alright, so let me just save this again. Save. Alright, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Alright, so that's it. I'll save and exit. Okay. Hey, somehow I killed two people. Killed two people? Oh yeah, because yeah. you were in the... In the other truck. Mm -hmm. I think you just injured the other ones. Uh, mm. Yeah, I think I just injured them. I killed a machine gunner and a, and a medic, apparently.